Hello everyone, it's Tell here. Welcome to Silent Hunter 3. So, after last episode's debacle, I have decided to go home, or not home, but our new home of Penny. Over here. Uh, I've got three torpedoes left, or four actually, including the reserve here. So, if you do run into anything along the way, we can attempt to shoot at it and do a better job, hopefully, than the last time. Uh, but yeah, I've decided not to try that again, and uh, I'm going to just call it quits and head to our new base, finally. And it's a long old journey of about 6,000 kilometres. So, how long is that going to take us, Mr. Navigator? Time to last waypoint is 237 hours. Wow. How many days is that? Let me look at my phone here. My maths is bad as I have already probably demonstrated at some point. Uh, 237 hours, 237 divided by 24 equals 9, almost 10 days, 9.8 days over a week. I guess that's not too bad. Um, we've got fuel for 8,400 kilometers, which is just enough. Not a little bit more than enough, but I'll keep an eye on that as we continue. Because if we run into bad weather, that will probably reduce our fuel consumption or fuel efficiency. So yes, we're going to sail through the um, Arabian Sea, underneath India, past Ceylon, as it was known then. Uh, I can't quite remember what it's known as now, but anyway, we're going to swim, swim, we're going to sail the um, Gulf of Bengal. Where's the... Oh, okay, so this is the Indian Ocean down here. This is the Gulf of Bengal. Okay, fine. My geography knowledge of these parts is kind of limited, I'm afraid. And uh, yes, we'll go above Indonesia and dock in Penang. At last. The date is currently December 7th, 1943. So we should get there by the end of the year. And then we can start 1944 in our new home. Will we make it to the end of the of the war? Who knows? I don't think I've ever been... How's, what's the, where's the furthest I've been? Maybe I've been to 1944 in a career. Can't quite remember. Somewhere close to there anyway. Um, yeah, so I will sail away. This is going to take a long time, obviously. And um, I will come back if we happen to spot anything along the way. Schiff gesichtet. Whoa! I was reading a book, but no time for that now. We've geschickt for the ship. Bearing four. I see you out there. What the hell? Dive? I didn't order a dive! How, How did that happen? My game has decided to uh, take control. Let's see. What can we do here? Uh, well, let's head. This way. At super speed. Super fast speed. We need to try and get in close so we can have a shot at this guy. As we dive. It's probably best if we do dive, to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that far. Periscope depth. Jeez, what's going on? I, I must have accidentally pressed a button. Yeah, we're going to critical depth. I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Oh, I do not want this to happen. Periscope depth. Quickly, please. Stop diving. God, I'm so bad. I didn't. I'm sure I didn't press anything. I must have done. What's the key to? What's the key to dive? Dive, dive, dive. D. Maybe I did press D by accident. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I'm going to come up again. Okay, so there's a merchant there. Are we going to be close enough to attempt a shot? Going seven knots, which isn't too bad underwater. 
as they're retaining the battery. How far away is it now? Seven kilometers. So we do have the T1s, which have 12 and a half kilometers range, but it's you know, further away you are, more uh, or the less likely you are to get the calculation correct. I, I assume, but we are closing in gradually. How far away are we now? That's not too bad. Maybe a little closer. slow down so I can use the periscope and let's have a look there she is oh, this looks like probably like a small merchant to me Too good at identifying ships. Tramp steamer, no. Yeah, it's a small merchant. Okay, well, better than nothing. Let's identify it, bring up the attack scope. Okay, so we are about three kilometers, that's not too bad. Okay. Okey here we go. Uh, vertical marks. Let's see here. So that's going to be two, isn't it? So we put two here to the top. Topmost of the topmost, and we check the mast height, which is 22.6. Uh, 22, so that puts it about 4,000 kilometers. I think that's probably about right, though. We'll go probably going to be more like three when we uh, fire, I suppose. Angle on bow, I don't the range dial with the ship length, so ship length is 78, which would be about there ish. Horizontal marks, uh, we are at 8. I can't be right. Although perhaps it has gone past 90 degrees. In fact, yeah, no, no, that is right, okay. So he's looking to us from his right, so we're going to be looking at about 100, maybe 110 degrees. Speed. Let's get the speed. I'm guessing about 7 knots, or maybe 6. And... Oop. Uh, 15, 6, 17 seconds. So, line up the time on the mid outer dial with the ship length on the outermost dial. Mid, uh, mid outer dial, so what would you say? 17 seconds. 15, 16, 17. Ship length was 20. Oh, 78.3. Which is about there. So, we're showing 9 knots. It could be doing 9 knots. It's going medium. All right, I'll trust you for now. There. Okay. Should probably fire pretty soon. And uh, let's see here. We're going to go magnetic. Make sure we do this correctly this time. Draft is six point eight. So five, six point eight, about there. So we're going to go around here. Uh, magnetic, yes. Speed nine. How far away is he? 2.2, okay. Just this slightly. I'm ready. Let's do it. Only got one torpedo in the front, so we'll use that, obviously. And... Foyer! Yes. 
Now, if we can... Yeah, I was going to about to say if we can catch up with it and maybe use the rear torpedo, but... Uh, if he's going at 9 knots, we can only do 7 underwater. Unless you go to maximum speed, but that risks damaging the engine. Uh, torpedo, here it is. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. What's the... Oh, we've got 4 minutes until it's due to hit. Go with her midships. And hopefully, it's a bit of a uh, punt, a bit of a pot shot, but hopefully we uh, we manage to hit it. I'm slightly worried about the nine knots calculation. Maybe I should have calculated that twice just to be sure, but he's moving away from us. Oops, sorry, hit the microphone. Um, and it does seem to be moving pretty fast. So we might be good. Yeah. I'm probably getting a bit of confirmation bias here, but he looks like he's doing more than what I'd expect a, a ship going at six knots to be doing. Or, you know, six or seven. He's going along at a fair rate. Okay. Well... What can we do? Not much we can do here, is there? <gasps> this guy is tired. Let's get him, get him some rest. Anybody else a bit tired? You're knackered. Let's get you out there. These guys are okay. Okay. Engine guy is okay. Good. Alright, let's speed things up a little bit. And hopefully we'll get an event camera. Alright, 15 seconds to go. Let's take a look. Where is the torpedo? There is the torpedo. Hey, that's not too bad. I think we could be good here as long as this explodes. And good job I went for magnetic because this has been a tricky angle to get with an impact pistol. Boom! In fact, I think it probably impacted anyway, so the draft was, wasn't quite right. But we got a hit. We didn't hit exactly where I wanted to hit, but we got a hit, which is pretty good from uh, that kind of angle. Will it be enough? I don't know. I'd rather it would uh, have exploded underneath, but there we go. A hit is a hit. Poor little small merchant. Alright, uh, all we can do now is follow along. See if it maybe stops. It's definitely slowing down, so we can probably... Ah, there we go, it's gone. Excellent. I've somewhat redeemed myself. Now the guy that's escape escaping on a life raft, so though, who's going to rescue them in the middle of the Arabian Sea is anyone's guess. Yeah, there she goes. Of course, things have to explode randomly for no reason. These ships seem to ha have a lot of um, components or cargo on board, which just explodes on contact with seawater, which is probably not the kind of thing you would want to carry on the ship, but there we go. Sorry guys, but this is war. Look at the poor guy, he's not even allowed in the lifeboat. Let me in! No. Sorry Reginald. We don't like you very much. And down she goes. Still exploding for some reason. Let's see how far can we follow it. Oh no, it spawns. Despawns. Well, excellent. Let's slow down here and return to course. We got a kill. Ein Drittel fahrt voraus. Ein Drittel fahrt voraus. 
Gehen wieder auf Kurs, Herr Kaloin. Uh, let's see. Captain's Lock. Small merchant. 3,221 tons. Not too bad. See, we have got a few um, good sinkings here, but obviously that last one could have netted us a huge amount of tonnage, but what can you do? Okay. So, uh, I will continue on my way. I'll stay under for the moment just to make sure we don't get spotted by any planes or anything like that. So, you might come along having had a distress call. But yeah. Uh, Good job myself. Pat myself on the back. Yeah. Sunk a ship. 